Now, what on earth could the NFL and weight loss have in common, especially after yesterday? Well, let me tell you, I've been in the weight loss industry since 1989. I have managed hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of locations around the United States and Canada. And as if you're a regular follower of these videos, you've heard me talk about the number one complaint consumers have made about any weight loss brand I've been affiliated with. Number one was fat counselors. A very close number two, virtually a dead heat, almost a tie, but still number two, skinny counselors. But number three, and far away ahead of number four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, far away, number three, the number three complaint is a relentless consumer complaint about counselors and other members of the staff talking about their personal lives. Let me make this abundantly clear. Consumers may act like they care, but deep down, the overwhelming majority of consumers in your weight loss location do not care about your personal life. They do not want to hear how your weekend went. They do not want to hear that you and your husband are fighting. They do not want to hear what a problem you're having with your children. They do not want to hear what your views are on politics. They do not want to know where you're going on vacation. They do not want to know that you are bitching, whining, moaning, and complaining that you don't think you're getting paid enough or that you think your franchisee, your owner, your physician, your chiropractor are making bad decisions. They do not care. I will tell you, hands down, no question about it, centers I've been associated with, locations, weight loss facilities I've been associated with, when I've had an opportunity to query regular uh, uh, members, clients, patients, it is abundantly clear they don't have a clue whether staff is married, whether staff has children, what their religion is, what their views on politics are. It only makes good business sense to keep your yak shut. Don't let them know. Don't, invade, don't engage in that participation. Every single patient, client, or member that walks into your weight loss center should think, because you said nothing, you probably agree with their their thoughts on things. And that's the way it should be if you're going to be a smart business person. Now, I'm not weighing in on the political element of the NFL. That's for people at a much higher pay grade than me. But I will weigh in as a consumer. And the evidence is right there in front of us. Ratings are down. The patronage of sponsors are down. People are turned off by what's going on. Now, it doesn't matter to me. I mean, they can do it all day long if they want. I'm not weighing in on that. But as a consumer, they have to think about it. Now, we are business people. We engage consumers. We have to think the same way. If you want to make a political statement or you want to weigh in on and you want everybody that comes into your center to know about how messed up one of your kids are or how bad your neighbor is or that you're having car problems, maybe you ought to think about another career. Now, working maybe for a competitor, I'll encourage you to do that. You can go help them with that kind of a conversation. But consumers are not interested. Now, you may say, but these people are my friends. No, they're not. Trust me. The minute you would be gone, they'd be bitching up a storm about what a pain in the keister you were, that all you did was talk about your personal life, because that's exactly what I've seen happen thousands and thousands of times, without fail, without fail. So keep in mind, your consumers should know nothing about your personal situation, nothing, nada, not a word, not anything. They should know nothing about what's going on in your world. Now, is that possible? Probably not. Hey, as much as I try not to with, uh, with the people we're engaged with, it still slips out. Part of it's just establishing some common ground. But you really need to monitor and measure it. You need to really keep your arms around it. I want to give you a classic example. We have a uh, barber shop in our neighborhood now. I have three sons, so barbershops are important to me. And when my three sons were real young, we started to patronize a particular barbershop. And we absolutely loved that barbershop. And apparently so did everybody else. The guy that owned it, his name was Jack. He didn't talk Jack about anything. He kept, his, all he would ever talk about was travel. 
on how much he enjoyed travel and the places he had been. In the rest of the time, you would just listen to what you had to say. Well, it became very obvious that in that barbershop, you didn't talk about anything controversial. You just had a lighthearted conversation. Well, Jack retired, or Jack sold the, the barbershop, I should say, and another guy bought it. I don't even know this guy's name. I went to that barbershop twice with my sons, and we haven't been back. It's been eight or nine years now. Yet we continue to patronize a barbershop elsewhere where some of the employees of that original barbershop had went out and started their own. And the word around town is if you want to get abused, you want to hear foul language, you want to hear beleaguered opinions about bizarro things, go to the old barbershop. The guy that owns it's a complete idiot. And it's no surprise, there's always just one chair occupied. No one else either wants to work there, and nobody else really wants to get their hair cut there. The same thing will happen with your center. If you are yakking and yakking about personal stuff, see how quickly your clients, patients, and members will get turned off. Think about one more thing. Think about the people, if you're involved with Facebook in any way, shape, or form. Think about the pathetic saps that we all keep in our news feed or keep in our, as friends, because it makes us feel normal and feels better, makes us feel better about ourselves, that always want to moan about how sick they are, how broke they are, how desperate they are, how they're out of work again, how their arm hurts, they have a headache, they, they're, they're, this doesn't function and that doesn't function. It's always negative, 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 negative. And we all love to, to, to just revel in and, and enjoy what the, 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 the pain and the, and the angst they're going through. But we really wouldn't want to be associated with them personally. It's the same way as a consumer. Consumers have an expectation. I'm giving you money, and no matter how I behave, my expect expectation is you're going to give me outstanding results. In the meantime, you're going to listen to me whine, moan, complain, and bitch, but I'm not going to know a thing about the employees that work there. You're just going to nod and you're going to smile because that's what smart business people do. If you want to take a stand, go open your own barbershop. Have a great day.